think that's the first time I've ever heard that. Actually. I what? love okay, that. I'll read the because I just watched the episodes, seeing you guys right now is just too cool. So congratulations, first of all, on, uh, on, on creating some good TV magic. Theo, I think that your, your role in this, is, you know, playing Henry is obviously so dynamic. We see Henry at eight and 24 and, and all these different ages. Well, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite part about playing this role? I, th I loved his humor, and you know, uh, it's, it's in the book, and, but Stephen kind of added, Moffat, the writer, added his, his je ne sais quoi, but he, he, he's got this throwaway glibness that I love, because I guess because right. he thinks he could die at any moment. I, I, he's got a great kind of, I don't give a shit humor, which, which, which right. I love. Um, but, I, but also playing those two different ages was a real treat for me, because obviously I've never done that, and you're able to kind of remember the pieces of you when you were young and dumb, and then maybe imagine yourself as a bit of a wide, wiser, older person. So yeah, it was a bit of a dream. Admittedly, that is a dream. Uh, admittedly, oh. a dream. <laughs> <laughs> admittedly when, when we're going through that bit of dialogue where, um, you know, Rose prefers, prefers a, a one Henry over another, I literally yeah. was thinking to myself, I was like, mm, I think I kind of prefer a certain Tyrone over another Tyrone as well. Mm -hmm. But it's, totally. that, it's, it's that beauty of being able to see that growth and, and, and respecting that journey as well. Yes. Is, is there any personal... Um, I guess maybe takeaways. Like I had that moment as I was, you know, by the time I got to episode three, I was just like, yeah, mm, I like this Tyrone way better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were, were there any moments like that for you guys? Only, only in my head, kind of like knowing and, and kind of recognizing that the kind of like the feeling anchored and grounded and kind of there being more sense of a kind of security in your own identity, knowing now that I find that hugely attractive. And uh, I, I, I would say that that's just something that, um, even though I've fully been aware of that for a while, it's now really just kind of solidified in my mind. So it doesn't surprise me that for Claire, she finds the kind of rooted version of Henry, mm. not only the person who she's always known from her upbringing, but also the, that kind of sense of security is more, is more appealing. It's, uh, it's something that I can relate to, but and, and also kind of not be surprised by. Mm. For sure, that's, that's actually a great answer. I uh, try. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I think, you know, younger Henry is chippy and, Chesty, uh, not you know, booby, but uh, oh, I was saying pecs, <laughs> pecs for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's like, you know, he's got a lot of chips, and I remember being like that. You know, you, you think to, to what you know, Rose is saying, you, you think that you need to be, you know, full of whatever it is, bravado, but, but hopefully, as you get older, you realize that. That's just young and dumb, and, and yeah, I prefer the version of myself, hopefully, where I'm a bit more relaxed. Like Henry. For sure. For the fans that uh, haven't seen this yet, how close or different is it to to the book? I feel that Stephen's done a, a brilliant job mm. in staying close to the book, and certainly these first six episodes take us up to a certain point in the book. And um, as a result, he, he's been able to capture the first kind of stages of their relationship and certainly the upbringing that Claire had as well. So I feel that he, in essence, has very much stayed true to, to the book. Yeah, and, she, and he loves the book as well. And he yeah. loves the story. He's loved it for, as he's talked about, you know, himself, he's loved it for a long time. So he, he feels he wouldn't want to stray from it. But he, at the same time, he adds his own little, you know, spice, mm. should we say. Rose, I'm going to ask you first because I saw a statement where Rachel McAdams says that you're phenomenal in the role, and obviously she plays uh, she played Claire in in the movie. So how does it feel to hear that, that she thinks you're phenomenal? Tyrone, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Actually, I what? love okay, that. Okay, I'll read the. I'm, gonna I'm, read the I'm literally, says, I'm <laughs> skipping inside because that woman is flawless. Yeah. She yeah. is perfection <laughs> and flawless and the most phenomenally talented, all-rounded human being out there. So I'm skipping, so, mate. I'm very, very excited to hear that. I'm also I love that. that you've seen it. So, Theo, you know what's going to happen now? Now I have to call Rachel after this and be like, <laughs> well, this is what Rose said. You know, I just, just got to make sure everybody's on the same page here. That's, I think that's my job. 
Rose, I asked Theo what uh, what he liked the most about playing Henry. And obviously, you started in so many good TV shows, Game of Thrones, Downton Abbey. But what was it about uh, about this role that stood out to you or jumped out at you? To be fair, there was, I mean, the, the, the fact that I'd be able to work with HBO again, and for me, associating kind of caliber and quality uh, with, with, with HBO was a, was a huge draw. Um, and, and just knowing how brilliant a writer Stephen Moffat is, and knowing that his adaptation of, of a book that he loves would be sensational. And also, you know, it, it, it's a fascinating topic to be one half of a time-traveling couple ain't, uh, mm -hmm. ain't, uh, ain't, ain't a character that comes around often. Well, th th this next question, this, this next question isn't going to be as polished. This is just, like, literally a fan question because it seems as like you genuinely liked that one Henry, this Henry that I'm looking at right now, better than the other ones like how are you guys able to create that chemistry because i really believed in it oh good good um the wig helped the wig helped <laughs> the wig helped you can't take someone seriously in that wig you can <laughs> you absolutely can that's your neurosis not mine no no, no. um <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't it's know. in the writing. Yeah. I would say it's in the writing. I genuinely, the kind of subtext that he's kind of peppered throughout those scenes with, with Claire in her twenties and and kind of realizing that this twenty-eight-year-old version of Henry is not who, who he is not who he should be. It's right. all there, truly, in the text. So being able to lean into that and play it full you know with with full gusto really helped in in hopefully conveying an energy that she's dissatisfied at this very moment uh henry i gotta ask you about wardrobe um what was that like for you i mean certain days probably less than others but what, did you have fun with wardrobe in, in this show <laughs> and really that's yeah. just a way for me to bring up the uh, i saw your butt a lot but yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, I think you're talking about my wardrobe now. It's like, listen, man, you, you look terrible. Um, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it was it's such. It's so part of the story um, that, it, yeah, he, he he travels and he ends up somewhere and he's naked and exhausted and out of time. And I guess we wanted to make sure that those jumps in time didn't feel frivolous. You know, every time he moves mm -hmm. it, in time, it takes something out of him, you know, and he ages faster as a, as a result and his organs degrade and he kind of, you know, it, it, it feels more dangerous that way. So, yeah, in terms of the nakedness, it adds humour and it is also ridiculous, but I had to remind myself, you know, if, if you were thrown out of time and you were completely naked, you had no money, no nothing, you had no idea what year you were in, you know, it, it's pretty dangerous, you know, and, and, right. I, and I think that helped the narrative for me. It made it feel more propulsive as a, as a story. For sure. Well, thank you for, for giving such a gracious answer. I, I had to bring it up. I just didn't know how I was going to, but I'm <laughs> glad I did. <laughs> All right, thank you guys and congrats. Cheers, Thanks, thank you very much. Thanks for watching eTalk. Make sure you hit subscribe for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news. And while you're here, why not watch another video? I know you want to.